reconciliation work. I have, I have, I have worked in a number of deeply divided societies, uh, such as Rwanda, Sierra Leone, uh, Liberia, Guatemala, uh, etc. Of course, conflicts and crises that took decades and in some instances centuries to make cannot be reconciled in a matter of a few years. It's a long process. Having said that, Reconciliation is not just only an outcome. It is also a process. And although the outcome might take a very long time, what happens in the process of reconciliation is extremely rewarding. To just see um, enemies that have been looking at each other through the barrel of a gun. Now coming together to ask each other, what have we done? To help each other, to begin to look the world through each other's eyes. For the offenders to summon their courage, to swallow their pride, and to humble themselves before people that they have humiliated and ask for forgiveness. For victims who have been damaged, in fact devastated, by the cruelties of conflict, having to come to reclaim their humanity and grant mercy to people that have humiliated them. And these former enemies coming together to say, the past is gone. Yes, we have to do things to correct the mistakes of the past. But now, how do we hold hands together and build a new future? This is a miracle. This is extremely rewarding. So it's not just only the outcome, but the process itself is life-giving and it's a tremendous privilege to be in the middle of this human transformative moment. So not only does do forgiveness and reconciliation solve problems and they prevent problems but also they bring the best out of our humanity and that is the way at least I want to approach and we try to approach reconciliation here.